Flowers. Aren't they beautiful? Have you ever wondered why flowers have such bright colors and wonderful shapes? The answer is simple. Their beauty and sweet smell attract insects, birds, and other animals that play a major role in plant reproduction. Let us observe this flowering plant and identify its different parts. A flowering plant is made up of the following parts. The roots. Roots hold the plant in the soil and absorb water and nutrients. The stem. The stem helps the plant to stand upright. It carries water and food throughout the plant. The leaves. Leaves are green. They are the site where the plant food is manufactured and where respiration takes place. The flowers. Flowers come in different sizes, colors and shapes. They are the most attractive parts of the plant. Why? That is because the flower contains the reproductive organs of the plant and, just like any other living being, flowering plants reproduce. Now, let us dissect this flower to investigate its different parts. If you look at the external side of the flower, you can see the receptacle which attaches the flower to the stem. Now, before the flower blooms, there is an outer layer protecting it. This layer is made up of sepals. Sepals are leaf-like structures, usually green, but in some flowers, they can look very much like petals. The colorful parts of the flower are the petals. They give the flower its shape and they attract insects to the plant. Now let us pull some petals off. The central part is the female reproductive organ known as the pistil or carpal. The pistil is made up of three major parts. The stigma with a sticky surface at the top, the style which is the long tube, and the ovary which is the bulged part at the bottom. The ovary produces the ovules. An ovule contains the female gamete, egg cell, and the polar nuclei. The pistil is surrounded by the male reproductive organs of the plant, the stamens. A stamen consists of a long filament topped with a bulged part, known as the anther. The anther is a sac that produces pollen grains. Each pollen grain is made up of a tube nucleus and a generative nucleus. Not all flowers contain all of the structures mentioned previously. If a flower has sepals, petals, pistils, and stamens it is a complete flower. If a flower is missing any one of these structures, it is an incomplete flower. Moreover, a flower with both male and female reproductive organs is called a bisexual or perfect flower. Examples include lily and hibiscus flowers. A flower that is missing the male or the female reproductive organs is an imperfect flower. On the other hand, plants can be classified as monoecious or dioecious. Monoecious plants carry both male and female flowers on the same plant. Examples include corn plants. In this case, the flowers are imperfect. Dioecious plants have male and female flowers on separate plants. These flowers are also imperfect. Examples include the date palm trees. With a great variety of flowering plants, the world in which we live is indeed mesmerizing.